this is episode 1 of how to become good at CSGO. So we're gonna go over the settings in this one, like the very basics, before we get started with tactics, smokes and so on, spraying. Okay guys, we're gonna start with the settings. So, just press escape, help and options. These are the four main settings, these two just ignore them. So, we're gonna start with game settings, short and quick. Enable game instructor messages? No, this is a tutorial. Max acceptable ping depends on your internet. I have it at very low, so I have good ping in game. Top right is very good. Enable develop console? Yes. Ignore all of this. Your clan tag? Leave it on that. Just leave it on that. Leave it on that. Leave all of this on that. Put this on no, very important. Leave this. Um, this is your. This doesn't really make much of a difference because yes is better. So you see what nades you have. Um, keep this on no. Keep this on yes. Ignore all of this. Now keyboard and mouse. Reverse mouse off. Ignore this. Sensitivity has to be quite low so you can hit the crucial headshots in this game and aim better. Zoom sensitivity should be the same. I have it on different because I like to play and um, stick with the op because I'm an opera. Raw input on, mouse acceleration off. I had this on on two days ago, a friend told me to turn it off, he's a global, and it takes time to get used to it, but it does a it has a huge impact on your aim. You, uh, you hit so much better, it's, I'm telling you, keep this on off. Everyone will tell you to keep this on off. All of this, just leave it as it is. And this right here, uh, choose a key, like for example, comma, a key that you don't need to use, like, yeah, just choose comma, that's actually a pretty good key. Or like, a weird key like plus or hashtag or something, just any key. Okay, we're gonna come to that later, why? Video settings, brightness, pros play on very bright, I play on this because I don't like the look of very bright. Depends on your monitor how bright it is, so that's your choice. Leave this on that. This is basically, with this you have a better game experience and you see more. And with 4x3, just ignore this, with 4x3, the heads, you, you see less, but the heads are stretched. Which means, basically, it's easier to aim. Just people can get go past you without you seeing them, because the computer screen is, is pressed um, pressed together, so I recommend this one because it's just nicer. Resolution, pros have it on low for better FPS, I have it on high because I want to enjoy the game. Keep this, keep this. Global shadow quality, keeps this on very low because it's useless and wastes frames. Model texture detail, by the way pros have all of this on low for extra FPS. I have these on high because I like to enjoy the games that I play, which is a pretty good argument in my opinion. The rest you can leave, as it is. Audio settings. Obviously use two speakers or more, never use like, okay, headphones actually, I think that's okay. But definitely not a mono, but stereo. That's super important, for because sound it has a huge role in CSGO. The music sucks. So I just keep that on off, and yeah, that's basically it. Now we're gonna go to the second part of this tutorial, so to say. Console commands are um, just open the console. I told you how to do that. Like bind it on comma. There we go. Just clear that shit. So you can drag this around, um, and you can exit it with escape. Okay, there we go. By the way, I'm logged off of Steam. That's why this is coming. If you're wondering. Okay, first of all, our network settings. So you should like have these because they're they just improve your gameplay. C CL, C and D rates, 128. This is the tick rate and CL. Up to rate 128. CL. Enter P at zero. And last but not least, rate 128,000. Yeah, 
So now we have that. These are just network settings you can clear. It's all saved. What you should also do is um, maximize your FPS for better gameplay. For example, I have 144 hertz monitor. FPS max, and I put my max FPS at 300 because you have to double your FPS, your, your monitor, so 144 times 2 is 288, so 289, um, I can just type that, 289, but I limit it to 290 to make it even, um, you should just do this, if you have 120 Hz, 241, if you have 160 Hz, I think it is, just put it on like 121, yeah, just improves your gameplay. Next your radar right here um, on the top left firstly you should type in CL radar also like this scale 0 0.4 this just um, lets you see more of the map and it's just it's just a lot better because more of the map more info it's just really ri a lot better Next, CL radar always centered. Put this on zero. This makes uh, the radar always be in the middle, and it's just a bit bulky and it's not nice. It, it's it's a bit weird in my opinion. You have an awesome overview overview like this. Next, we're just gonna um, disable the freeze cam when you die you see um, you know, the person that kills you you see his face for like a few seconds and his weapon and it's just really completely useless it's not even nice it's just fucking useless and you waste that time to get information that you can see while you're dead and tell your team so that's pretty important <coughs> Um, next up we have, because um, when people are talking on your team it's hard to hear footsteps, and you know the Russian people, yeah. So just write S and D headphone headphone pan exponent and then a 2. Let's just lets you hear footsteps and small noises a lot better. Also, the voice scale, turn that to like 0 0.6 or 0 0.7. And last but not least, CL time out. Just put this on whatever you want, but something a high number. Because this basically, when, when your internet crashes, you get timed out from the server and lose your guns. With this, like for example, put it on like 1500. With this, you have enough time to reconnect and you'll reconnect with all your weapons and will not have lost anything except the people kill you. So that's pretty useful. And that's it guys, for part 1. See you next time.